How much time and water does it take to clean an IBC? Now we offer our IBC cleaning kit with two different types of cleaning head. The simple basic model has a spinning spray ball head that runs at low pressure around about three bar and so will not produce an awful lot of impact. As such, it normally takes a bit longer to clean the tank and it takes a bit more water. The advanced model uses a rotary jet cleaning head that runs at about five bar pressure and this will clean most IBCs faster and with less water. Now, the main factor that affects cleaning time and so water usage is the residue. A very light water soluble residue can be cleaned in a couple of minutes, even using the basic model of IBC cleaner, and a tougher residue might take the same cleaner you know, 10 minutes or more, depending on the nature of the residue. So for tougher residues, the rotary jet style cleaner will massively outperform the basic model in terms of speed and water usage, because it will just get the job done a lot faster. So for say a moderately tough residue, the basic model might take about 10 minutes to fully clean the IBC with a flow rate of about 58 litres a minute, meaning it will take about 580 litres to fully clean the tank. Now that same residue could be cleaned in about say five minutes with the advanced model with the rotary jet style cleaner. And so it has roughly the same flow rates, so it's going to clean it with about half the water and half the time. For a very light residue that's easily soluble, you could halve these times, so you could halve the water usage overall. So the basic model would take about five minutes and about 290 litres per IBC, and the advanced model about two and a half minutes and 145 litres per IBC. The advanced model is probably about twice as fast and twice as water efficient, but it does come at a higher price tag. Now note, for very very light residues, the simple spray ball machine might actually be the most efficient though. The rotary style jet cleaners must operate for a certain amount of time to complete a full cleaning cycle. So if they run for anything less than about two minutes, then parts of the IBC might be missed. So the cleaning jets won't have been brought to bear on each part of the IBC. And this means they're going to use a minimum of 116 litres a minute, two minutes or 58 litres a minute to clean any given tank. The rotary spray ball it has no such limitations and will give a complete coverage more or less instantly. So there's no minimum runtime for it. So if a spinner can actually clean the IBC in under two minutes, if the residue's light enough for it to do that, then it actually does become the most water efficient option. This will normally, however, only be the case with very, very light, easy to clean residues.